When it comes to talking about drought, California always grabs the headlines. But what about other states? Sadly, things aren't looking much wetter for the rest of the country either. Hi everyone, Julia here for D News. As of last week, much of California remains in exceptional drought, the worst category there is. We've talked a lot about the big drought in California before, and not surprisingly, a lot of the at-risk states are in the West, according to recent data from the U.S. Drought Monitor. Along with California, almost all of Nevada and Oregon are severely dry. Some parts of Nevada are even exceptionally dry. Other states are feeling the heat too. The monitor shows that large swaths of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah are experiencing abnormally or moderately dry conditions. Kansas is still recovering from last year when 93% of the state was in severe drought. Another center of drought is in the Southern Plains in Oklahoma and Texas. Parts of North and Western Oklahoma have seen devastating extreme drought over the past few years, but last month some rains relieved a little of that stress. Some areas saw an 8% drop in drought coverage. Texas's drought started in 2011, which ranked as the driest year for that state on record. Since then, the drought shows no signs of letting up. The Lone Star State has seen water tables drop more than 150 feet in some areas. Central Texas is suffering the most, facing severe to exceptional drought. It's so bad that in March of this year, Governor Greg Abbott issued an emergency disaster proclamation, certifying that exceptional drought conditions posed a threat of imminent disaster. But the drought is heading north, too. Most of the high plains, Minnesota, Wisconsin, North and South Dakota, are in moderate to severe conditions. According to one report by the Government Accountability Office, Montana is most likely to face a water shortage in the next decade. Even Hawaii is feeling the heat. According to the National Weather Service, most of the big islands are in a moderate drought and the month of February saw some record high temperatures. The early part of this decade saw the worst drought since the 1950s. In 2012, 64% of the U.S. was listed as moderately to extremely dry. All of this drought and devastation recalls the Dust Bowl of the 1930s, when in 1934, 68% of the country was extremely dry. Recent research from scientists at the ARC Center of Excellence for Climate System Science found the reason that drought was so bad. The surface temperatures of the Pacific Ocean ends up controlling the jet stream. As it moves across the country, the stream carries storms like a conveyor belt. When the ocean heats up, it can move those storms north into Canada or further east, skipping over the West and Great Plains. So that's one of the reasons why the West is so dry. And that's what happened in the Dust Bowl. Parts of the surface water in the Pacific Ocean warmed up in 1934 and 1936. The coastline from Alaska to LA saw unseasonably warm temperatures. That would be bad enough, but stuff was going on on the other side of the country too. Small spots of surface water also warmed up off the coast of Maine and Nova Scotia. These two hot spots changed air pressure and weather patterns. This change led to less rainfall and created perfect conditions for scorching hot temperatures to develop in the heart of the US, according to one of the authors of the study. And making matters worse? Poor agricultural practices ruined soil, creating huge dust storms. This atmospheric dust created a positive feedback loop on the high-pressure systems to move the water elsewhere. A similar warming occurred recently off the coast of Maine, possibly leading to the dry spell of 2011 and 2012. But luckily, there wasn't an increase in temperatures on the Pacific coastline. While we lucked out that time, the researchers stressed that these kind of events are more likely to happen thanks to climate change. Some estimates say we could face the worst drought in a millennia if things stay the same. So where are we gonna get more fresh water from? Well, some people think the ocean could save us. Julian doesn't think so. To find out why, check out this video right here. While it sounds like a lot of cheap water, the opposite is true. The price is 80% higher than San Diego pays for treated water outside the county. And even though this plant is huge, it can only make 10% of the county's needs. All right, guys, what do you think could fix the drought? Let us know down in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about weather, leave those too, and we could answer them in a future episode. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And as always, thanks for watching D News.